VC ERP is offering export to tally functionality in the ERP. The user can download the accounting data from VC ERP in .xml format and can upload the save file in tally. Post uploading the data into tally, all the accounting data from the ERP will be imported to tally. Before moving into uploading the data, let's first understand what is offered in the VC ERP. A date filter is given to select the date duration for which the data needs to be imported. You can also select the location for which the data is to be extracted. We have provided the tally version filter. This filter will show you all the available tally versions which supports export to tally feature of PCRP. You can choose the tally version that you have so that the file exported will be compatible with the respective version. You will find the master data necessary to upload the tally under Transaction tab. The account group, ledgers, unit and stock items are the part of master data and it must be uploaded to tally before importing the other transactions. The account group created in the VLC ERP must be created in tally as well. Hence, it is mandatory to upload the account group in tally. Please remember that the duplicate accounts groups are not allowed in the tally. The ledgers are the accounting statement of each account added in VCRP. So, post uploading the account group, you need to upload the ledgers in tally later. Here also, the duplicate ledgers are not allowed while uploading the data into tally. The units are specified while creating the product. Hence, it is important to upload the respective units in the tally. It must be configured in the TRP first before uploading it into the tally. So, you need to navigate to the settings, inventory settings, default, unit of measurement. Edit the unit and mention the correct details in it. It is mandatory to provide the unit quantity code that is U2C to each and every unit in the VCRP and the unit's name and the unit code must not be same since it will not allow in the tag. In such a case, the duplicate units will be uploaded on the first line basis. For example, if I have two units with the same name, so the first unit will be uploaded with the mentioned details in it and the second will be rejected automatically. Finally, once all the master data is uploaded, the stock items will be uploaded at last. The product master details will be updated in Tally. Since Tally does not allow duplicates, the product name and its respective item code must be unique. Even if the product has the same barcode as product name, the Tally will not accept it while importing the data. The master which mentioned before needs to be uploaded in Tally in a certain sequence. First, the account groups will be uploaded. As mentioned earlier, Tally will not support the duplicate accounts. This includes the special characters and the space in the account name. For example, an account tape is specified as John space Carter, which already exists in Tally. The same account is mentioned in ERP by the name of John underscore Carter. Now, in this case, the tally will consider both account names as same and will reject it while uploading since it is a duplicate. However, if I created the same account as Carter space John, the tally would consider it. Once the account groups are uploaded, the ledgers will be uploaded after that and later the units and stop items will be uploaded. It is very important to understand what configurations are necessary to adapt in Tally to successfully use the export to Tally feature. First, you need to decide whether to ignore the errors when uploading the data or not. If you are using Tally Prime, you need to open the Tally and go to the import. If you have Tally ERP9, you need to go to the import data, press F12 or go to the general. Select the configuration option and go to ignore errors during import and select the choice as yes or no. If selected no, the tally will not import the data if file contains any error in it. 
but if selected as yes, then Tally will upload the entire data seamlessly and will ignore the errors. You can go through the logs later to check for the ignores or rejected errors. Later, the configurations that needs to set in Tally are related to the vouchers, that is, transactions added in the ERP. For that, you need to open the Tally, go to the vouchers, and press F12 key. You can pause the video here to see the settings which should be configured. These configurations are similar for all watches of Tally, but their names might differ in each version. Once these configurations are set, you can now import your ERP data into Tally. As discussed earlier, we must upload the master data first. Open the ERP, select the date range and go to the transaction tab. Click on the download here button to export the file. The downloaded file will be in .xml format, which Tally will support. Now, open the Tally software and select your company. Click on the import button here or press Alter O and choose the master option. It will then ask the path of the copied file. Copy the path of downloaded file and paste it in Tally. Make sure to remove the double inverted commas in the path and click on the enter button. Once the path is mentioned, Tally will ask for the behavior. If you choose ignore duplicates, the Tally will upload the unique entries and will reject the duplicate value. But if you have modified any existing data which was uploaded earlier and now wants to update in the Tally, you need to choose modify with the new data option. Hit the enter button after selecting the behavior and the data will be uploaded. This way, you need to upload all the masters in Tally in the sequence mentioned earlier. Please understand that account groups, ledgers, stock items, and units must be uploaded under master. And purchase, sales, debit note, credit note, payment, receipt, and general vouchers will be considered as transactions while uploading the data. The master data needs to upload it again if any new account or product is created. For example, if a new customer is created, the ledger must be uploaded again. If a new product is created, then the stock items and unit must be uploaded again. This is how you can use the export to tally function in VZRP. You need to follow the same process every time when you decide to import the data into Tally from the VZRP. There are a few advanced functionalities which VZERP is offering to merchants in Export to Tally. The first feature out of it we are offering is GST Rate Voice Export. To understand this concept properly, let's take an example. So, generally, whenever a sales transaction is uploaded in Tally, the value of sales will be reflected in the sales ledger and the tax amount will be reflected in the tax ledger. Let's assume that the product A has a price of 100 rupees with 18% GST applied on it. And product B has a price of 200 rupees with 5% GST applied on it. And for the sake of common understanding, consider the transaction is made in the same state. Now, in this scenario, the sales amount that is 100 rupees and 200 rupees will be reflected in the sales ledger. And 5% and 18% GST amount will be reflected in the common GST ledger as CGST, SGST, and IGST if the GST rate wise export feature is disabled. Now, if you want to maintain the separate tax rate wise ledgers in Tally, this functionality can be used. If we enable this feature, whenever we import the data in Tally, it will automatically create the tax rate wise separate ledgers and their respective amounts will be reflected in it. So, to explain this, 
will take the same scenario which we discussed earlier. So the tax amount of product A will reflect in the CGST 9% and HGST 9% ledger. And for product B, the tax amount will be reflected in CGST 2.5% and HGST 2.5% ledger. Not only that, but also the sales ledger will be bifurcated according to the tax rate. So the sales ledger will be bifurcated as sales 5% and sales 18%. The same impacts will be for sales return, purchase, and purchase return when imported the respective data entirely after enabling the setting. If you wish to use this feature, you need to open the ERP and go to export to tally feature under utilities. Click on the tally configuration and turn on the GST rate wise export setting. Also, you need to configure the settings in Tally. For that, open the Tally and go to the vouchers. Select the Sales option and click on the Configure button or press F12. You will see a pop-up to configure. Mark the Select Common Account Ledgers for Item Allocation as No. Once these configurations are done, the tax rate wise ledgers will be created automatically in Tally when we will upload the data from ERP. You can check the respective ledgers in Tally as well. Many merchants possess multiple branches and franchises, and they tend to segregate and manage all their data into separate codons under the same company in Tally. For such an instance, Daisy ERP will help you get this data in the segregated manner as per your codon. It is mandatory for the merchant to have the multiple branches and franchises created in Daisy ERP and Tally. Please understand the Tally will refer to these multiple locations as a godown. So you need to create the multiple godown in Tally as well. Please make sure that the name of the codown in Tally must be similar as given in the VZ ERP to the branch or franchise. Here, the merchant has to take a note that as a company owner, you are entitled to manage the accounting of your own branches, which are basically owned by you. However, the franchise will be responsible for the accounting of their own store. Once the setup is completed, you need to activate the setting in the VZ ERP. So, open the export to tally function in ERP and click on the tally configuration. Mark the transaction with go down setting as yes and close the pop-up. From now onwards, whenever you choose the multiple locations and export the data, it will be downloaded in such a way that the data will be sorted company-wise in the downloaded file. And whenever you will upload the same file, Tally will automatically segregate the data as per godown created in the Tally. If you are using transactions with godown feature in the VZ ERP, you can not only download the data as per the company, but can also manage the stock transfer interest in the Tally. So once the setting is enabled, you will be able to find the top general option. Here, you will get all the stock transfer made between the branches, franchises, and the head office. So, select the data which you want to upload, click on the export button, and once that file is downloaded, input the same file to Tally. 